He's credited with being the first person to coin the phrase inside the beltway. Mike Causey, journalist and longtime voice of DC News Radio, passed away Monday at the age of 82. Tom Timmon of Federal News Network worked with Mike for many years and joins us now with more on who Mike Causey was and the legacy he leaves behind. Tom, thanks so much for joining us. We know for years that, that the rest of us have heard Mike Causey on the radio or seen his articles in the Washington Post, but you knew him on a much more personal level. You called him one of a kind. You even called him your hero. Who was Mike Causey to you, and, and, and what did he mean for our region? It's the thing about Mike Causey. He was a giant in the region, a giant in journalism, and a giant among the very large federal workforce that characterizes so much of the activities in our region. But yet, up close, he was the most kind, uh, sweet-natured, funny, storytelling guy you would ever want to know. And I think the thing that says so much about him is towering as he was as a journalist, breaking stories for almost 50 years in Washington, young reporters would come into our newsroom and he would treat them as if they were lifelong colleagues, never patronizing, never condescending, just a really down to earth, genuinely, innately nice man. You could certainly hear his humor. Um, obviously, his journalistic integrity came through when he did stories on the radio or, or his reports in the Washington Post. And we know, as you mentioned, he covered it all from being one of the first people to drive around the Beltway when it was finished to covering the, the Beatles' first concert here in the United States. Mike was 82. I know a lot of people have, have said, why didn't he retire? We know that Mike passed away. He was found at his desk at WTOP Radio. What do you think that he would say about that? I think he would have said this is where he wanted to be when the end finally came. Mike has had a couple of personal setbacks. You know, he lost a son uh, earlier in 2022, and I think that kind of made him a little bit maybe more philosophical. But he always said that he liked the conversation that he got from being in the world of work, in the federal slipstream, if you will. And he would have coffee with old friends, many of whom were retired. And he would always indicate kind of in a humorous way that the conversation was kind of dull and he i don't think he wanted to become a bore by retiring and he really loved being in the conversation and in the swim as i put it well we have certainly as you said we have lost a legend in our our world here tom timmon my condolences to you uh Thank to you the wtop and federal news network family we certainly appreciate you taking the time to come on today and talk about mike causey thanks so much sean thank you